serial killer or a serial scam Collins Jomaisi Kalisia who was arrested by the police on Monday was arraigned in court today mashtaka yake ikiwa mutilating the bodies dumped in the quarry Collins Jomaisi ali confessed to the killings but many people are asking questions how does this make sense this is the age of information and people are able to dig up information at the comfort of their homes However, also the Kenyans have also been doing their investigations. There has been online speculations that Collins is a fake name. No family member, friend has come out to claim that they know this serial killer. In short, Nikama, this guy is just a ghost who appeared from nowhere. Now, this guy was caught with items in his home which were linked to the murders. Kuna panti mbili flani za pink zilipatikana but wa Kenya wanauliza ngoda tena. Other additional items like SIM cards, broken smartphones, fake IDs, laptops, na gunia kadha. However, the items found don't add up to the said plot. It seems very sketchy. How can a guy mutilate 42 bodies in a span of two years and go unnoticed? Na jamana ishi 100 meters from the quarry. The outcry is it doesn't add up. And tell me, is it Kolo who scotched the crime scene? Now, Collins Jomaisi's lawyer has stated that the confessions made by the defendant are quite unclear and that he is yet to hear for himself. He has called out in the, uh, the way the government has been handling this Collins Jomaisi's case. Now, people are demanding for the truth. Could this be another makeup story? I guess time will reveal the culprits who committed these atrocities. Now, this is Connect Daily Digest. And I am your host, Efikuri, and until next news, to survive.